Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension. And my gift to you is this guided meditation for the deepest cord and hook cutting ever. Well, first I will share with you the latest information about cording and hooks, which will be followed by a thorough, very thorough guided meditation. I'm sorry, this video is going to be very long. There's also a short version, you know, available, you know, without this intro. And as so many of you know, you know, humanity has been used as a battery style matrix, you know, for luge, or you could also say chi harvesting, um, you know, besides slave labor and being proxies for our pawns as playthings, you know, of the gods, maybe the Greek gods or the Anunnaki, right? Um, now, most of my clients uh, see these chords um, that we're talking about as dark, um, string-like uh, mozzarella cheese, you know, when you pull it, uh, but with a rope-like thickness in uh, most cases. Uh, they are attached to our energy centers or places of darkness in our force field and they function like tubes through which chi and information can be taken, means stolen, you know, or given. And it can be healing energy or also uh, bad energy and also karma dumping. Right. And now hooks are devices anchored into uh, parts of your being, you know, and they poison those parts and they're held in place by, let's say, barbs and booby traps, um, so that conventional methods of removal would create, you know, great damage. And uh, so they are part of uh, dark manage and tricky to remove and they generally come from the Anunnaki level which you know they're more sophisticated with their implantations. So from the many past life regressions you know with my clients I have found out that for instance in Babylon you know cords and hooks were quite systematically installed through sex magic and other rituals uh, that I rather not talk about and also you know, hookers, you know, possessed prostitutes. Uh, contracts also uh, play a great factor in courting and the exploitation of those, uh, you know, where access to one's energy uh, was granted in exchange for knowledge, uh, more mystic powers, or material desires like fame or beauty. Yeah. And uh, in some instances, you know, these kind of deals were part of the disciple-master contract. And in some cases, the deal was with the priesthood, and in rarer cases, with the demigod directly. So the harvested chi, you know, was then divided up between the priesthood uh, the reptilians, uh, maybe the uh, Afrodokonians and uh, some Anunnaki, um, sometimes also the pharaoh. Uh, now the kicker is that the energy of many of us is still being harvested through these courts from ancient times. So the bottom line is uh, these cordings, which many people, you know, can see during a guided meditation, are used to send you bad energy, you know, like even up to karma dumping, you know, where you're being used like uh, one of those paintings, you know, the painting of Dorian Gray, uh, or to drain your energy, you know, uh, basically to vampire your energies and uh, manipulate your thoughts and emotion towards negativity and drama. And, you know, all for the worse, just like the Christian devil does. You know? And uh, hooks, of course, bind and dispense poisons in the form of negative chi. 
Uh, many times dark magicians would dump their bad karma into the people uh, that they got hooked into. So it could be compared as if the dark magician is dumping his trash and the dead bodies of his victims into some innocent person's property and then they have to deal with them. So uh, first of all, uh, no worry, uh, most likely you are already plugged and corded. Uh, the damage is already being done. So from now on, it is only going to get better as you are learning uh, the ropes, so to say. You know, learn your spiritual Kung Fu. Time to wake up. You are not in Kansas anymore. So uh, when I work with clients, I always start my sessions, you know, with the superficial decoding of the energy body, you know. And there's always a raising of the frequency after the request. And so for those of you that think or believe that the Alpha Draconians have already left the planet, please, please take your power back and check for yourself. Use kineology, you know, or your gut feeling, you know, or a pendulum, and come to your own conclusions. Admit it, uh, there seems to be a rebellion, you know, in the ranks of the Alpha Draconians, you know, as they discovered that they have been enslaved uh, by the Anunnaki through AI and had their heart chakra uh, mani manipulated, you could say, but, you know, they were bred, right? So, uh, to nearly non-existence, uh, but fortunately, humanity has also been infected by a love bug, or a virus that seems to hijack the nano AI that controls the dark one. Uh, but, of course, this is controversial. So, uh, many alphas observing the transformation of the rebels start to volunteer for heart chakra activation, but... So, do not underestimate the power of the cosmic Christ, I would say. Um, so, you will find, of course, uh, lots of info on the Alpha Draconians on YouTube. But, here are some more facts that are not well known yet. And so, in my work over the years, I have discovered that many of my clients got killed or wounded by Alpha Darkonians during the Battle of Kurukshetra. You know, from the Indian epic, the Mahabharat, of which the famous Bhagavad Gita is only a small part. So, in the Mahabharat, the Alpha Draconians are called Rakshashas, for those of you with a Hindu background. And yes, uh, my clients, you know, were from or are from both sides of the battle, and they had many different bodies and vehicles, you know, from which, uh, from different dimensions, and some were fighting with very exotic and uh, magical weapons. And uh, it's like a lot of the rings, a battle like this. Um, a very high percentage of these clients had no knowledge of Hindu culture, you know, which made their testament uh, more reliable, as they were not preloaded, so to say. Right? So, now this is new. It seems that the battle of Kurukshetra was a decisive battle between the humanoids and the reptilian races. You know, though they were of all kinds of alliances and things, you know, that muddled things up. And uh, the reptilians did not even care to win this battle, but used it to implant the opposition, the opposing warriors, you know, with courts on a mass scale. So again, they courted, you know, the warriors of the opposite side, you know, through their weapons. And so any time you got hit with a Rakshasha weapon, whether it was an arrow or a club or a sword or an axe, you know, you got courted. And after that, you know, it was very easy to take 
over humanity. So they didn't care, you know, uh, how many they lost or they didn't win the ultimate battle. You know, and then I even encountered, you know, one of the reptilian Maharati warriors, you know, who, you know, infected, um, you know, the other warriors on a mass scale. You know, it was a Maharati. A Maharati is defined as somebody that can kill, you know, whole human armies of ordinary men, you know, like a hundred thousand all by himself. So these were generally uh, mystic warriors, you know, that uh, could, uh, for instance, release something like atomic bombs, you know, through vibrational technology. Um, they were called uh, Brahmaster weapon. Um, Ashwatthama released one of those, and I mean, they actually found fields, you know, where um, the earth is turned into uh, glass in India. Uh, for anybody that's interested. So, in principles, I would say that we got courted, uh, or that we get courted, you know, besides that battle, whenever we have a very strong experience with somebody, you know, or in a wider sense, um, you know, even what we consider uh, like an object or a place. You know, we fall in love, you know, sometimes we fall in love um, with the beach, or a place in nature, and so we bound with a place. You know, sometimes also there is a binding to a place through trauma. Whenever we see that place, we remember where we had that broke break up, or maybe we got killed in that place. You know, there's some horrible things like that. They also create a bondage to a place. So the more traumatic or pleasurable the experience, you know, of course, the always the stronger the cording. So, through rape or torture or wounds, you know, also, uh, darkness is created in the subtle body, you know, onto which these cordings can be attached, which follow you through the incarnations. And uh, that is one of the aspects why we have pedophilia, why we have blood sacrifice, and also the torturous inquisition. You know, for instance, you know, these are not the only explanation. There are many layered uh, things that cause this. These are just some. And I don't want to get into details here. Also, <laughs> many light bringers that get tortured, you know, burned or crucified, you know, ask higher power, you know, for help, you know, or at least a quick death, you know. And if that did not happen, um, you know, capital G God, you know, or and or lowercase gods and goddesses got cursed and rejected many times, also high selves. And that was very emotional, so it was also very, very powerful. So let us take those curses and rejection back right now. So you know, I'm going to take all these rejections of the higher power that is divine and good for me. You know, I take all those rejections back now. Amen, 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 amen. Uh, just, it could be quite intense for many of you. Many, many people have, you know, cursed God in war and through disease to loved ones are very, very common. And this might take some time to integrate, so why this is going on, I'm just going to continue now. So, uh, first of all, you know, there is coding, you know, through DNA resonance, like we have, you know, with close blood relation. That's one principle. Then also we have positive codings happen during good sex, you know, deep love experiences like nursing, etc. And uh, pretty much, you know, whenever we share a divine moment. Of course, uh, once courted, you know, good and bad energies can be exchanged. And as people are uh, waking up now, you know, we are becoming more and more conscious of how our children, twin flames, ex-lovers, or even our enemies are in our energy. You know, big thing. You know, people notice they're not alone anymore. Mm -hmm. So, 
And just like chords, we also deal with hooks, which are exceptionally toxic and can be very damaging, you know, when removed the wrong way. Not just the same like a barbed arrow or a fishing hook, right? So the barbed hooks are generally implanted into like VIP incarnations, so you know, not the common folks. So more the, like the light bringers, you know, indigo children, etc. Uh, so, but do not let that get to your head, you know, when you feel lighter and better after the meditation. You know, spiritual pride never can really helps. So also, you know, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions. You know, just send me an email and I will get back to you. So, uh, before we get into the meditation, you know, there are some principles that you should follow. Uh, and that will make your experience a lot deeper and a lot better. First of all, you know, sit in a comfortable office chair, just like I'm doing, and uh, balance your body so that everything stacks up nicely. You know, personally, I like, I actually uh, swing around a little bit, crank my neck, and I find this also with my clients when they get into higher energy states and start talking to their high selves and, and other beings, you know, they uh, all kind of swing around there. It's just, but uh, do whatever you find is best. Also advise you to use earbuds or headphones, you know, to cancel out outside distractions, and it's also generally a much better sound quality. And uh, do not drive or operate heavy machinery, you know, especially when you're listening to a podcast or in your car. Uh, smile like an idiot and reside in your heart. Right? Smiling will raise your vibration and help you to access higher dimensions. I mean, really try it. So um, this all works best, you know, at the highest vibration as well as the deepest relaxation. So relaxation and high vibration, smiling, positive thoughts, you know, help the most. Uh, if you want to have an energized brain and chakra system or energy system, so to achieve this, you know, you want to pace like strong, you know, through your nostrils, keep your mouth closed, like, especially initially, you know, this will be very helpful because, of course, your energy, you know, is sluggish initially, and so we take some heavy breathing to uh, break through those uh, barriers. Also, you know, breathe through your nose because the mouth breathers uh, absorb 20% less oxygen, you know, with the same volume of air, you know, breathe. This is mainstream knowledge. Check it out for yourself. Uh, also, you do not have to repeat my affirmation. Just think or say amen, you know, or nod your head when you say amen, but uh, mean it, you know. Uh, be in a childlike state of innocence during the Gada meditation. Reside in your heart, not in your head. Head bad. Head bad. Only thinking. <laughs> you know, this is your more intuitive brain here. So pay attention what pops into your mind, but do not judge it, you know, or try to rationalize at the morning, at the moment, you know. Uh, like, I just made that up. Uh, you can always do that at the end of the meditation. Uh, you can also use the K button on your keyboard to pause and play the guided meditation, you know, to spend more time to get an answer or explore a situation in greater detail, for instance. Uh, because, you know, we can't just keep waiting, you know, like uh, until you figure out the whole thing. You know, this is just to trigger you, to let you know you got stuff there. So uh, some of you, you know, because of this may have a greater benefit if you follow along with the induction, but keep your eyes open, you know, or open your eyes at the end and use the pendulum to investigate further, you know, and so, you know, if you want to learn how to use the pendulum, I have an old video out there that shows you how to use a pendulum and with a chart, etc. And it's a good skill to have, you know, don't overuse it, but, you know, it's a good skill that can help you in many situations. 
All right, so now just close your eyes. Let us connect to Source, Absolute Source, nobody higher than our Absolute Original Being. We connect this one so God is all around us, so we rest in God. And we connect to our highest self. Our spirit guides all the way up to Source, to Milky Way Galaxy, and to our inner child and Mother Earth and the elements and all the beings that still love us unconditionally now. Amen. And I thank you all for coming and I ask that everything that happens in and from the session is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes that there's not going to be any deception, that we're completely safe in every way throughout all our existence. Amen, 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 amen. And of course, that again, that everything that happens and comes from this session is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, 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 amen. And now smile like an idiot and imagine that you shape shift your legs and your spine into the earth like a root, like a tap root, very large and strong. And expand that tap root into smaller and smaller side root till they come all the way down to capillary style. And now, imagine that you draw or let the love of Mother Earth rise through those roots into yourself, into your heart, through those legs. On the inhale, and on your exhale, you send your energy through those roots, like straws, back into Mother Earth. And on the inhale again, you allow her love to rise in you, all the way to the heart, let it flush through your body. And then on the exhale, still smiling even sweeter, you send your love all the way down. And don't be piddly with your breath move. No, be very strong. Keep drawing her love into your heart, but then on the exhale you send that love into your brain and activate your brain. Just send a lot of loving chi into your brain so it can function at its peak performance. Smile, put the tongue at the palate to have a better bridge to your brain. Mother Earth's love into your brain. And we asked our highest spirit guides to remove from us the burdens we picked up from the environment, mass consciousness, other people, family members colleagues at work, maybe out of compassion, maybe just by osmosis. There is no reason to keep this with us, so please just lift this off us now. Amen, amen, amen. Now on 
and the exhale and start breathing out the top of the head all the way up to the ceiling like in a rotating funnel clockwise and imagine the Milky Way galaxy this beautiful huge wheel is kind of there where the ceiling is you know it's a representation it's a symbol but just innocently connect to reach out with your crown, with your higher energy centers to this being and smile. And keep on breathing. And while you're connecting with Milky Way Galaxy Consciousness, we asked our highest spirit guides to remove from us any backstabbing energy from this and past lifetime, you know, gossip, jealousy, envy. Please do so now. Amen, amen, amen. And now with your breath, you focus on the inhale from allowing that love coming in from Milky Way Galaxy into your heart and into your being. And on the exhale you send your love out as a gesture of goodwill. Love. And so keep breathing back and forth this love between Milky Way Galaxy and all those beings there that love you unconditionally to so now. Amen. Now you focus on drawing in this love from the heavens into your heart. And on the exhale, you just expand that love in your heart. Start doing so now. Keep doing it. Send it to the front, to the back, to the sides. Wherever it feels tight, just send that heavenly love there. And we asked our highest spiritual guides and the angels, of course, to please remove from us any heartbreak energy and any vows we did in past lifetime and even in this lifetime to not love anymore. Please do so now. Amen. Amen. And keep on smiling and you know, feel this release and how the frequencies just become finer and fine. And just keep pulling that love from heaven into your heart. But now also add Mother Earth with this. So on that inhale to just Pull in that love from Mother Earth and the heavens simultaneously into your heart. And on the exhale, expand it in your heart. Exhale through your heart, not through your mouth. Of course, in reality, you exhale and inhale through your nose, but in imagination, you inhale and exhale, you know. You inhale through your chakras and exhale through the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. And now we ask the love of the cosmos, of the creators, to spill down over us over and through us, through our head, shoulders, our heart, through the arms, hands, 
fingers, also our legs, feet deep into the earth. And these waves of loving chi that we allow now, they cleanse all our bodies, all our bodies. And of course, we asked Source and Archangel Michael and everybody else that is qualified for those tasks, like Lord Shiva for those of the Hindu tradition, or Parvati for the ladies of the Hindu tradition, to remove as much as possible any Anunnaki, Draco, Reptilian, Grey, magicians, humans, all other predatory courts and devices, and any other technology from every level of our being, any incarnation, any time, timeline, or dimensions or sub-dimensions or parallel dimensions, now, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, 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 amen. And keep on breathing and smile. Have your palms raised, facing up for receiving to the divine. And smile and breathe and observe the flow of energy, the tingling, the lightness. Just keep on breathing deeply. Stay focused in your heart as much as you can and smile like an idiot. You are surrounded by greatness. So smile like an idiot. And allow that rose or lotus in your heart to bloom. And now we connect with Milky Way Galaxy through a huge laser that is as wide as our head, which also connects to the core of the Earth. And we have this liquid light pouring down, connecting Earth and Milky Way Galaxy flow through us. And of course our high self adjusts to the levels that are just beneficial for us, you know, optimal for us. In the um, ah, so yes. Mm -hmm. So we allow this to dissolve any blobs and blocks or resistances of darkness in our spinal area. Also the ascending and descending center meridians we like to have cleared and all the other meridians in our energy system and the Nadi systems too. Please do so spirit guides. Amen. And we asked for this golden pyramid to be erected to over us as a protection that only good can come to us, only high vibration can come to us, that we're completely safe and energized and updated to whatever is the best for us every moment. And this pyramid also envelops us with liquid light like gold, which starts dissolving blocks and blobs of darkness. We let it to enter our heart, to dissolve any pain or darkness that we can detect. And we smile like an idiot. That is our dial for love, to be open for love. And now we ask your spirit guides to show you what a yes answer feels like. You know, and we asked actually that your yes would be an upflow of energy from your heart. 
So we asked for that now. Amen. And you may have felt something, an upflow of energy from the heart, and ask that it will be given another yes. Amen. And now we ask that we will be giving a no, which would be an energy flow from the heart downwards into your body. So please give us a now, now. Amen. And give us another no, now. Amen. And now, dear source of all, Archangel Michael and other divine sovereign beings from the different tradition, you know, they're probably the same beings that are called with different names. I am a sovereign divine eternal being that is residing in a human body at this time. And I command in the name of the Absolute Source to permanently clear and detoxify any predatory cords, barnacles, and hooks that connect me with other beings. With the hooks, please dissolve any barbs and other booby traps and the poisons before removing the hooks to prevent damage. Please now clear Ascend also any cords, barnacles, hooks, soul fragments, ghosts, seeds, eggs, spores of service to self entities caused by rape and any sexual cordings in the sacred area of others. Now, Amen. And also, you know, do this, you know, where I did this to others, you know, so we like to have this always done both ways, through the incarnations from now on, amen, 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 amen. And we also asked for clearing of sexual cords with ex-partners from this and past lifetimes, now, amen, 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 amen. And also while this is going on, any residuals, you know, of the above mentioned due to sexual rituals. Now, aim, 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 aim. And while this is going on, also any residuals as mentioned above from magic weapons and their poisons and cords and barbs and hooks, etc. Amen, 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 amen. And also, while this is going on, please, please, please clear any cheating contracts that I have made and that others made with me, you know, either way, where there was cheating and dishonesty going on. Please clear all those. Amen, 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 amen. And also please, you know, clear any of the above you know, the residues, you know, of torture, especially entities that are still stuck and programmed through torture. Either way, where I was the torturer or others where the torturers clear this all. And also the back and forth cursing, of course, coming from this and the karmas. Amen, 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 amen. And please also, while this is going on, clear any of the above and more from negative sacrifices, you know, and other incidents similar to this, like many of the battles were sacrifices, 
you know, including implants that allow selves to self beings to manipulate us through cordings, triggers, barnacles, hooks, or any other control techniques like the Achilles Teal programming. Please clear this right now. Amen, 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 amen. Also any Pinocchio or Geppetto programming, you know, where uh, you are being puppeteered like a Manchurian candidate, for instance you know, trigger words and other technologies of programming people, taking people over. Mm -hmm. Amen, 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 amen. Please also, you know, clear, you know, any negative influences and, of course, um, from DNA backdoor and portals, you know, for sabotage. You know, this would be part of an Achilles heel program. There are things in the DNA that allow other beings to just switch us off and control us. And uh, this is an infringement on free will. We are sovereign beings. And we surely like to have this removed by source or delegates. Amen, 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 amen. And we also like to have any high self disconnection, manipulations and programs on a DNA level eradicated and our DNA, you know, upgraded you know, to a level where we can easily connect with our high self and our higher dimensional sub-personalities and spirit guides and get divine guidance again and clear divine visions again. Amen, 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 amen. And now we ask and grant forgiveness throughout our lifetimes. Now, for all parties involved, otherwise there's going to be more entanglement. So, again, you know, we ask for forgiveness where we offended others, and we grant forgiveness where we got offended. Amen, amen, amen. And now we also ask for karma clearing for all parties involved. And don't think that you were only the good guy. Don't think so. So we ask for karma clearing for all parties involved now. Amen, 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 amen. And keep on breathing. Stay in your heart, smile, keep on smiling. It's probably very intense for you, yeah, this is the real thing. So the more you're sincere, the more you will clear. And again, we ask that this automatically will integrate, you know, at the pace that is decided by your high self, by your benevolent high self aspects that are completely connected with source. Amen, 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 amen. And now let's get a little deeper into contracts breaking. And now we ask for breaking of any binding contracts because most likely we got tricked into them or the contracts were done in the dream state, which is of course trickery, and where we were not informed about the long-term consequences, you know, throughout incarnations. I mean, some of those contracts last for eons, thousands and thousands of years. And with so many contracts also blackmail was used, so we like to have those cancelled and cleared too. And of course torture was used too, right? So many times, you know, confessions and <laughs> contracts were signed under torture. So all these we like to point out to the highest divine justice and like to have them cleared. 
or whenever, whenever any other form of tricky or coercion was used. You know, many of us as innocent humans were like babies and we could be cheated quite easily being very naive. So many times, for instance, psychic gifts or achievements were promised that were in actuality not delivered. You know, this happened a lot in Egypt, in Babylon, or some in Atlantis too. A lot of hijacking was there, done of good people. So we like to have all these, you know, hijacking, uh, these deals, you know, where <laughs> gifts were promised. Uh, we like to have those cancelled, you know, either way, where we were promised or where we promised other. We just like to have them cleared. Amen. And we also ask that these contracts be cleared on the level of what are considered the ancient ones or the creator beings. These are the ones that you know, create galaxies, those kind of beings. Mm -hmm. And there are also contracts on that level. And if they're based on cheating, I would like to have them cleared. This absolute source, you know, will be the arbitrator of what is right and wrong. Amen, amen, amen. So, there are, of course, many that consider themselves creator beings, and not all of them had our highest interest in mind. And so, those contracts with those beings we like to have broken, because uh, many of them resulted in piracy, in vampirism, and, uh, you know, bondage to them throughout time and dimensions. And so we break any negative contracts with the Anunnaki, also with the Alpha Draconians, and also with the Reptilians, and also with the Insectoid races, and also with the Greys, and especially the ones that our governments made for us, we are sovereign beings and they have no right to do contracts for us. And of course, also any contracts to other harvesting predatory beings that we are not mentioned, but that are negatively affect humanity. Source will decide, or the highest, the highest beings will decide. Amen, 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 amen. And of course, also any contracts with magicians and human, you know, humans too. Many times there was debt, there were promises made, good willing that could not be kept. So also those. And of course, you know, the those promises and contracts that were done with military, you know, with my lab, you know, military especially also in past lifetimes. You know, secret brotherhoods also included into this. You know, very serious blood oaths were sworn. You know, where we, you know, give our power away to the command structure, very serious oaths. And so, you know, these do not apply to this incarnation anymore. Most likely they interfere with this incarnation. So a higher self can decide which ones still are, you know, appropriate for the highest good of this incarnation, you know, for the Dharma in Hindu terms. But all the other ones we like to have cleared now. Amen, 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 amen. And again, I cancel any contracts from this incarnation and all incarnations across space and time. All incarnations, all parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the world.
and I understand that I might have done similar things in past and parallel incarnations and if that is the cause I ask that any predatory cords and hooks from my sides to others are also cleared. We now ask and grant forgiveness throughout all lifetimes, which is very important. And we now ask for karma clearing for all parties involved. Now, amen. Keep on smiling and breathing and be connected, stay connected with heaven and earth. Bring the love into your heart and expand it in your heart. Just stay connected to heaven and earth and nourish their love, nourish their love. They want you to be loved, they love you. They are a much better person when you have love, believe. And now, while this might still go on, but we are requesting a clearing of the cords, of barnacles and hooks for the people that we victimized in past incarnations. And the cords and barnacles and hooks where we got victimized. Hey. And we ask that this clearing goes through all creation for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. And we ask that cords and hooks through which bad karma is dumped and good karma is stolen be cleared. Especially bad karma that is programmed to follow people around throughout their lifetimes and also affects their descendants and DNA. Please clear this now. Amen. Also please clear any dumping into their sub-personalities through cords, barnacles and hooks. Any dumping either side be cleared. Amen. And also clear any stealing of talents, resources through cords and hooks throughout creation. Amen. And also please clear the stealing of sexual energy and beauty through cords and hooks. Either way, now, throughout our creation. Amen. Keep breathing and stay centered in your heart and pull in that love from heaven and earth. They allow you to be transmuted into a more divine being. That's, they love you, they love you, they love you. And now we ask for clearing of any stealing of manifestation skill through, you know, cords, hooks, barnacles, whatever means. Amen. And now we like to have a clearing of where people were used like zombies, like shields for our actions, you know, control through cords and hooks and other rituals. You know, where we were used or where we used others. Please clear that now on our levels. And also again, please clear any residual cords, hooks, barnacles from ritual sexual abuse through black magic. Either way, aim. And 
and while this is going on please also clear any cording barnacles and hooks through implants hair blood and other representation that are used in voodoo dolls and other types of magic like this throughout creation now hey Smile and keep breathing love from heaven and earth into your heart so as you be nourished. This is quite intense. Smile like an idiot. Deep breathing. Stay conscious. Some of you may pass out, which is okay, but you know it is better when you stay conscious and keep breathing, you know, more intent. Mm -hmm. But even if you're going to pass out, give your high self permission to imply the intent that it aligns with you through this meditation. Huh? Amen. And now we release any cords that come through wounds, you know, throughout creation, either way. Amen. And while this is going on, and some of you may have uh, quite some pains and aches popping up probably, we also ask for a clearing of the cords and other connections that come through molestation throughout our creation, either way. A And while this is going on, and this may take a while, we asked for a clearing of the cords that come from entity attachments, or implants, or ritual pairing with an entity. This was done for soldiers, for gladiators, and other, you know, elite people, and of course, you know, magicians have been paired with demons, etc. Uh, so all these pyramids with other beings we like to have cleared and broken and, you know, those entities brought home to where they came from. Just brought home to where they came from and any bindings on them we like to have cleared, but of course they have to go home to where they came from. We're not going to release monsters here in a dimension where they're not supposed to be. Amen, 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 amen. Keep breathing and smiling and pumping love. Mm -hmm. And again we ask for a clearing of all the cords from magic weapons, especially the reptilians and the Alpha Draconian used weapons that would cord you throughout time. Of course the magicians and some others, plus the magic weapons would cut your force field and, you know, keep that disconnected, destroyed. So, I maybe did this to others. Of course, we like to have this all cleared all the way around. Please, aim and aim and aim and aim. Smile. Keep on breathing. Now you love. Keep on smiling and breathing. Stay conscious, stay conscious. Maybe keep your heart at the palate, or your tongue at the palate, and stay centered in your heart. And, of course, in so many lifetimes, we were part of wars, sometimes as innocent bystanders or being caught in crossfire, swept away. And sometimes we were instigators and in powerful positions. And in war there were always spells and curses, war spells to weaken, and even done with blood, of course. And there were also uh, individual you know, spells and curses, you know, of revenge, you know, of torture, etc. So, and of course also onto lands and cities, not just people on families, sometimes populations 
So VP most likely did a lot of damage to others and most likely a lot of damage was done to us and so we like to have these all cleared. Amen, 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 amen. Through our creations we are so sorry, we are so sorry. We ask for forgiveness and we give forgiveness. Amen, amen, amen. And this can go on for a long time. And you might want to press the K button and continue when you have no more sensation of you know, integration. But now, while this is going on, we ask that any alcons and barnacle attachments and their seeds, eggs and spores, you know, and also from other, you know, egg seeds, spores, uh, from other, you know, negative devices like nano, you know, please be cleared, you know, from our being, from every level of our being throughout all incarnations, you know, especially the ones, in particular the ones that are there to control us against our highest good. Amen, 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 amen. And now we also asked for a clearing of any devices or methods not mentioned here, but that our high self knows are harmful and illegal and against free will and against, you know, our enemies and ourselves. Amen, 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 amen. And again, while this is going on, we now ask and grant forgiveness throughout all lifetimes. Amen. And again, we now ask for karma clearing for all parties involved throughout our creation. Amen. And now we will do another deeper scan even, going through particular areas of your being in this incarnation. And um, <coughs> so it's called this the deep scan. And this is about the area which is below your feet, your force field you know, extends, of course, also below your feet into the earth, like it connects with the earth star. So there's a lot of, you know, uh, subtle technology there <laughs> um, that connects us with the earth realm. And, of course, this has been affected in many incarnations, you know, through trauma and other things. Let's say, call it darkness. So, um, let us just um, ask that anything, any darkness, you know, um, any wounds, this is for the area below our feet, you know, all the way to the core of Mother Earth. So we ask that any wounds that affect us from there or any weapons that are affect us from there or any shackles or magic implants, or any vows and spells or high-tech implants or cords and hooks or archons or barnacles or ghost attachment or any other type of entity attachment or their seeds, eggs and spores or anything else that is important but mentioned yet. You know, we like to have this cleared now, right now, throughout all creation for us. And of course, for we put this on others too. Now, amen, 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 amen. And smile and, you know, breathe and love into the legs. 
Mm -hmm. and feel the energy coming back into your legs you know there's probably a lot of tingling and for some of you there's a big upflow of energy up your spine maybe you know kundalini you you know kundalini rising you just sway around you know let your spine adjust let your neck adjust to accommodate you know this increased flow of energy and smile and let it you know ultimately push it out the top of the head you know direct the kundalini with your breath you know try to keep it as much confined to the spine as possible Amen. Mm -hmm. so and now you let us remember we had the yes you know is the upflow of energy from the heart and the no is the downflow of energy from the heart so let us ask your own divine guidance do you have you know in the area of your legs you know trauma that is still affecting you from this and past life wounds yes or no whether you have in your legs any trauma etc you know uh, cords you know <laughs> from uh, weapons yes or no past in this lifetime of course and now ask whether your legs are affected with something that could be considered shackles you know that keep you bound like a slave or prisoners around your legs yes or no and now ask whether you have in your legs any magic implants you know like rings rods plates glass spikes you know there are a lot of things like this yes or no and now asked whether your legs are affected by curses or vows from this and past lifetimes yes or no Are you affected in your legs by spells? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by negative high-tech implants that are sabotaging your energies? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by cords? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by hooks? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by alcorns? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by barnacles? Yes or no? Are your legs affected by ghost attachments? Yes or no? Are your legs by any other type of entity attachments? You know, or the seeds, eggs or spores? Yes or no? And is there anything else important that was not mentioned? Yes or no? And of course now we like to have all this before mentioned cleared by Source and our highest spirit guides, you know, the expert angels, ETs, 
etc. Amen, 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 amen. Throughout creation, you know, where we dished it out, uh, where we were at the receiving end of these traumatas. Amen, amen. And now, while this is probably still going on on many levels, we will focus on the area of the root, you know, the Muladhara chakra, and then all the way, of course, up the spine. And um, let us just, you know, ask for a clearing of all those, you know, specific aspects, you know, right off, you know, to save time. So, dear highest spirit guides, please, you know, clear any sexual cordings in the root chakras from ex-partners from this and past lifetimes now. Amen, 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 amen. And also, please, clear all wounds you know, throughout all time periods, you know, maybe from initiations, also from rape, also from ghosts. Please do so now. Amen. And then also, please clear any physical wounds, you know, from stabbing through spears, arrows, knives swords, etc., you know, any type of weapons, now, amen, either way, you know, enemies as well as us. And there are probably all kinds of shackles, you know, like chastity belts, you know, magical chastity belts. We like to have those cleared throughout our creations. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, of course, anything like rings, rods, glass, plates, spikes, other types of shackles, cast molds, everything clean. Please, aim, 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 aim. And while this is all going on, also please clear any curses and vows and spells. Um, you know, that we did in many incarnations, you know, blocking our root chakra because we thought the physicality is bad, connects us to the animal instincts, you know, it is Maya, and the physicality is something to get away from, to go to spirit, so we like to have this cleared throughout our creation, name and name. And again, you know, please now let's go faster. Any high tech implants, cords, hooks, archons, barnacles, ghost attachments, and any other type of anti -t attachments, you know, including their seeds, eggs, and spores. Do so now, amen. And of course, anything else? you know, that is important and not mentioned. Amen. And let's call this, you know, what we have mentioned before, all this different aspect, let's call this the spiritual sabotage package. You know, this is like an app, you know, like a spiritual app. Mm -hmm. And so now we ask, you know, Creator and our, you know, highest spirit guides to please clear you know, um, the sabotage package from our uh, sacral area completely. This is the second chakra. Mm -hmm. And smile and keep breathing, keep breathing, you know, send heaven's love into your sacral chakra, front to back, wherever it's tight. If you're female, definitely smile into your ovaries. Maybe even have your hands over, cupped over them. 
Deep breathing. Take as much love from heaven and earth as this you want. You know, they allow you to get healed. Don't be shy. Deep breathing. Smile like an alien. Mm -hmm. And while this is going on, we also like to have the spiritual sabotage package cleared from our solar plexus now. Amen. 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 And just imagine you breathing yourself a beautiful golden sun in your solar plexus. Ah, yeah, beautiful golden sun. Amen. 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 Oh. And now we asked our highest self and our source and spirit guides to clear the spiritual sabotage packages from our heart. And of course, wherever we did this to others, to clear this too. Amen, 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 amen. Smile, I can hear you, and again, you know, breathe deeply. The deeper you breathe, the more you smile. The more sincere you are, you know, the more appreciative you are. The faster it works, the more stronger it works. And there might be still some clearing going on, and we ask them to continue to finish. But in the meantime, we also like to have any spiritual sabotage packages, you know, cleared from our throats. Amen, 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 amen. And while this is going on, we also like to have now any spiritual sabotage packages removed from the third eye, the pineal gland, also the pituitary gland, and any other brain parts through which we can be manipulated, like our you know, rewards center. Yeah, with the reward center, you know, I mean amygdala, you know, so many things can be triggered through the amygdala. Very easy to manipulate, especially also any electronic manipulation, uh, whether it's just an entrancement of certain moods that are negative, as well as uh, what is called synthetic telepathy, you know, those effects we like to have cleared and reported as illegal manipulation, you know, an infringement on our sovereignty and free will. Amen, 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 amen. Uh -huh. And while this is going on, of course, we like to have any spiritual sabotage packages removed from our crown chakra. You know, the halo around the head, as well as the higher dimensional chakras, there's many, you know, going through all the dimensions, you know, connecting us to creation all the way up to source. So any sabotage on this, you know, especially, you know, electronic sabotage, thought from sabotage, DNA sabotage, we like to have removed right now. Amen, amen. And now everybody just agree. 
I, you know, as I go along, just nod your head as much as you can, you know, this is good stuff. So, I cancel any and all vows and contracts I have taken, anyone in this body has taken, and anyone within my genetic lineage has taken, allowing these before mentioned issues. I now declare these vows and contracts null and void in this incarnations and all incarnations across space and time. All parallel realities, parallel universes, alternate realities, alternate universes, all planetary systems, all source systems, all dimensions and the world, and the void, and the void, and the void. So we want to have all this negative vows and contracts cleared, right? Also, please, Spirit, release all structures, devices, entities, orientations, or effects associated with these vows and contracts. We ask and grant forgiveness throughout our lifetimes now. We ask for karma clearing for all parties involved now. Amen, amen, amen. And now let's ask for some protection while this is still going on. This is, could be quite a long clearing. So we ask source, absolute source, you know, the God with the big G, to please surround us, you know, and whoever else you want protection for, like there could be cats, your house, your vehicle, your property, we ask to be put into a bubble or pyramid of protection. And please only allow good spirit beings and energy in and keep me safe from any and all harm. Only good can come to me and as I will, so shall it be. Thank you, God. Amen. And smile and be grateful. Stay in your heart. And we ask the spirit guides to please remove any energies and entities that are still there that should be sent home. Please send them home to where they came from. And please also to close any portals that should be closed. Do so now. Amen. And we ask that also all your subtle bodies be aligned again, brought into harmony throughout the dimension and that your energies be recharged where they are holds in your aura that they be filled with healing love that your genetic code be updated and purified that your divine blueprint be cleared and uplifted and purified to what is the best for you right now you know even beyond what was planned for you before and, you know even improve on that if possible Please do so now, Amen. And I will call to three, and then you will be back in vacant day consciousness. One, you become aware of your room. And two, you slip back into your body, into your toes, into your heel into your fingers, your shoulders, your spine. And three, you're back to vacant day consciousness, open your eyes. So, hello back my friends. So as a result of the garden meditation, you probably feel lighter right now, as if a heavy burden has been lifted off your shoulder there. There will also be more peace, and uh, as if emotional gray noise has been turned off and no more constant emotional agitation or tension is there. Yeah, also probably more of your national smile will come back when you look into your mirror. And, uh, you know, well, probably there will be also a very positive transformation in your countenance. I mean, you'll be more beautiful without the makeup. And, you know, 
uh, understand this is the shotgun meditation uh, that will not ascend all stuck soul fragments, ghosts and traumas. You know, many times you have to look at details and, uh, you know, this is where I come in. I do one-on-one -on, -one on Skype, a very effective, very potent, uh, my prices are very reasonable, so just shoot me an email and I get in contact with you. And uh, well, I'll drink a lot of water today, you know, after the meditation, at least a quart, probably two quarts if you can. And uh, take it easy, you know, take it easy, take a bath, be in nature, you know, don't go and uh, watch any horror or action movies now. And, uh, you know, do the other meditations, subscribe, s send love, share your experiences, share with your tribe. I love you. Namaste.